This is a Swiss M18 steel combat helmet used by the Swiss Army from 1918 to 1971 when it was replaced by the Model 71 steel helmet. As you can see, the Swiss helmet has a very distinct shape. Some people think it's an ugly shape, I think it's pretty cool. It uh, closely resembles the experimental model number two. That was a helmet designed by the U.S. Army to replace the M1917. It was never chosen. This is a, uh, going ahead and get the cover out of the way here. This is a 50s era camouflage cover for the helmet, modeled after the German Zeltbahn pattern camo. This is the uh, spring side. And this is the fall. I think the fall looks a little bit better, in my opinion. But uh, bought the bought the cover for the helmet, but uh, it just covers up the the nice shape of the helmet. And so I'm just not really a fan of the cover. I'm probably trying, I'm gonna try to sell that cover. Um, back to the helmet. As you can see, it's painted a rough black textured paint. Uh, originally, when they were manufactured in 1918, all the way until 1943, they were uh, painted a flat green paint. But in 1943, they painted black with sawdust texture. There's the uh, two vents on the back. As you can see, uh, this helmet, pretty nice paint and texture. Used but not abused. Um, a lot of these helmets are pretty beat up because they had such a long service life. But uh, we'll talk about the uh, liner. Pretty standard liner system from the era. You got a leather chin strap with uh, three leather pads with padding underneath. The chin strap attaches to the, a swivel bail with a metal clip. You can see, definitely used from the pads uh, color. Now, the reason this is a M18 steel helmet and not an M40 steel helmet, which is the World War II model of this helmet, is the liner band. And uh, when the M40 came out, they uh, stopped making the liner band go all the way around the helmet, and they stopped it at the edge of the pads here, these two back pads. And uh, these the M18 is the more rare, desirable helmet um, than the M40. Now, going back to the, the green paint, um, if you find an M18 helmet that has the original green paint, it's definitely going to be more me more valuable than the uh, than a black painted one. But uh, if you actually find an M40 steel helmet uh, with the original green paint, it's extremely rare and worth a lot of money because it was common, you know, in during interwar years, you know, the 20s and 30s, for soldiers to take their helmets home from the military service as souvenirs. But during World War II. With uh, the threat of Germany invading them, right there, uh, no one really took their helmets home, and the government definitely didn't want them taking their helmets home. So uh, almost all the M40 helmets were refurbished with a uh, black textured paint. And also about the paint, uh, you can find these helmets in various colors and paint jobs. Um, textured black paint is for the army. If it's smooth black paint, that's for firefighters. And uh, ye glossy yellow is civil defense. And I believe other random colors were used in civil defense. And you can also find white MP helmets, military police. If you find one that has a badge mount on the front, it is a firefighter's helmet. Pretty much almost every major city in Switzerland had their own badges. Some of them are pretty interesting looking. Um, you also see normally, especially on the M40 models, little name tags attached on little discs to the liner. Those are those came out in the 50s or very late 40s. And uh, so if you have one that doesn't have them, that's more correct for a World War II helmet, if you care about that. But uh, these helmets were required to be stored in the in the soldiers' homes by the Swiss Army, as well as their service rifle. So that's a pretty interesting fact about Switzerland. Very good gun laws in Switzerland. Um, so Switzerland was a neutral country, of course, in World War One and World War Two. So you'd think none of these helmets ever saw combat. 
While they didn't see combat with the Swiss Army, they were sold to countries around the world, especially Argentina. So they were using the Falklands War with Britain, or the United Kingdom. And uh, there's also videos or photos of them being used in the Yugoslavian Civil War. So these helmets still got around, despite being made by a neutral country. Often with the covers fitted on them, they'll be sold by uh, asshole sellers as German helmets, which this is, of course isn't a German helmet, but it's the same shape as one. There's a real German helmet over there. Um, so don't let, make sure you study your helmets and make sure you don't get fooled by assholes in the hobby, or they're not even in the hobby. You get what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, this is a Swiss M18 steel helmet. Very interesting looking, nice helmet. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.